Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And yes, this is Rory Lynch Transport's brand new Scania S580 with its V8 engine. So I'll be taking you on a full exterior tour of this truck. Then I'll hop inside and go down through all the interior features. And then I'll be getting hooked underneath a trailer and taking it out on the road for a drive. You ready for this? Let's go. Starting off with the exterior first then. Finished here in silver metallic with the Rory Lynch Transport's blue stripe and the grille there with the ebony black ribs. Now the grille and the whole truck were factory painted in France where the truck was assembled. Then it made its way out to Jamie King's where he sprayed ebony black all around the spotlight surrounds on the roof, all around the base of the windscreen and on the pillar and the mirrors, all ebony black and he finished it off nicely here with the silver around the mirror as well and all around the door frame, all painted black to match in with that black panel and the chrome strip. So those pieces do not come standard, they're extra on these Scanias. And the aluminium wheels, this is the first truck ever in the fleet to have aluminium wheels, 40 years in business. So uh, yeah, let me just turn on the LED lights. We have LEDs all around. That is your key with the V8 logo. And also there you have a V8, 50 years. So yeah, I'm going to uh, just, I'll, I'll unlock it there and then I'll turn on the lights, just to give you a look at them, the LED strips there, and I'll do a light test as well, so turn that on. And we have the air horns on the roof there, they're covered in, just to stop all the dust and the dirt getting into them. And you'll see there as well on the sun visor, three additional LED lights were fitted there at Nolan's. So that was very good. And let me just pull open the grill, give you a quick look behind. And you see there the cab suspension. Now the front axle is on an air ride front suspension. So we should have great comfort from this truck. And you'll notice there as well, the cab bushings are a lot easier to change on these newer trucks than the older truck, the R560 I was driving. So uh, yeah, you'll be saving on maintenance time there anyway. And we still have a dipstick here and top up your oil. Now it's eight liters between the minimum and maximum level on your dipstick. And we have our jacking bar there as well. That is the cab tilt pump. And your pump valve is on the side there as well. So let me just close that back up. And your coolant, of course. And close down this top grill. And I'm gonna pull down this step here. Now you'll notice as well, we don't have any tie hooks here like we did on the R560. So. They're actually located in behind these covers. You gotta take them off and screw in your tie hook there so you can um, tow it or else just tie it down if you're on a furry maybe. So uh, let me just put it back up on the S580 and continue walking around. Now, there was a full camera system fitted uh, from DPS and Ennis. So there's a camera at the base of each mirror and also a camera at the top of the windscreen on the inside and a camera at the back, um, just to be able to see the fifth wheel as well. So very handy to have all those cameras. And I'm just gonna open up the locker here. That is the inverter. So I have two three pin sockets in the cab. Very good for plugging in your electrical items. Now that, that's a 3000 watt inverter, so good power from that. And I'll be able to plug in a printer as well. So yeah, I'll, I'll open up this locker on the far side. It's the very same size, so handy to have extra lockers over the R560. Now I'm down 130 litres um, over the R560, so we've 1370 litres here, whereas we had 1500 on the R560. And you see the straps there, that's all factory painted. And the batteries are all located here, whereas on the, my last 560 they were located at the back. And this checker plate, that's all factory done as well. And the Anderson cable going into the cab from the batteries. So if ever you're doing maintenance on your batteries, you can just unplug this cable and you're completely safe. So that's great to have uh, for the inverter. And these holders here, John Barrett down in Nolan's, a shout out to him. He designed new holders for my Susie. So far better job than the ones that Scania give you. And he also fitted the uh, fire extinguisher boxes there as well. And you see there we have the Scania Vabis logo put at the back of the cab. Uh, that goes back to 1911 when the two companies merged 
and we have the 40 years of Rory Lynch in business 1980 to 2020 and I'll be using this pole a lot you just wind it to adjust the top wind deflector so it'd be very good for lining up with the trailers just for keeping everything more aerodynamic efficient and we have the Jost the sliding fifth wheel great feature to have on a tractor unit and our add blue which flows in between the chassis and also this was fitted the checkered plate on top of the side skirt and also all along the bottom here as well so just to protect from forklifts driving in and banging against it now the painted mud guards were taken off we have unpainted ones put on so I'll probably save the painted ones for shows who knows let me just uh, do another light test here at the back just to show you the LEDs now we did cut up the um, back mud guards as well because they were just hanging down too low and then they get heavy and they start to crack with all the dirt that accumulates on them so they were cut up about four inches and two chocks were put at the back as well so they did not come with the truck uh, the wheel chocks and this checkered plate was put on as well just to give the back a better finish because when the batteries are not here it just looks too open at the back so uh, yeah it's far tidier with the checkered plate but the exhaust after treatment system it does take up a fair amount of space on the chassis doesn't it <laughs> the size of it it's probably that much more bigger than the r560 so yeah it's taking up a fair amount of space there uh, I did have to put two more marker lights on this truck, one at either side, so it just came with blanks here. So yeah, two more fitted, uh, it just came with these ones. So why didn't it come with these ones, I've no idea. There you go, and we have the super singles on the front axle there. Okay, so uh, this is an accessory pack that came with the truck. We've got a squeegee there for cleaning your windscreen. And we have the first aid kit, we've got the Scania torch, we have the a high vis vest and we have the air hose and then this cover for covering up your radiator if you're in a really cold climate and it also came with a spare bulb kit as well so yeah all of the newer Scanias will come with them I should think all of them but definitely this truck has them anyway good so uh, yeah this uh, finish here uh, plastic it would have been nice if it was rubber lined just to stop things sliding around but nevertheless it's great to have these lockers uh, they only come on the S-Series, not on the R-Series. So, yeah, the lockers up here, uh, really deep. It goes in further than the R560. Good space in these, although it's probably hindered a bit with this top section here. Uh, you access that by lifting up the bunk, uh, that storage piece there. And in behind that, we have all the towing equipment uh, for the cab and your warning triangle there as well. So, yeah. The lockers pretty good uh, obviously they're a lot higher up than the R series so yeah the four steps going up into the cab left foot first up we go and the top step there I do like how big it is and yeah great space on that and we have the fire extinguisher we also have the um, remote control there for rising and lowering the back axle we have all the adjustment on the driver's seat for rising and lowering that as well you just press the button there if you want to lift it up and press it again to drop it down and we also uh, have heating and cooling features on the seat and it's also fitted with lumbar support um, basically the same design seat as the previous truck uh, just a different pattern to the r560 i drove but you probably see these seats in any other previous generation scania and let me just show you the air gun as well just for cleaning out the cab so I do like that get that back and let me show you the uh, the armrests so we have two armrests one at either uh, side and also on the uh, passenger seat as well we have two armrests so that is the spare bulb kit uh, although I don't see any headlight bulbs uh, that's uh, not good but anyway, Nolan's gave me this. This is the original Scania logo from 1891. That was how their badge looked back all those years ago. So that's a nice touch. Also on the door as well, we have the red stitching, the V8, and that lights up at night as well, the Scania sign. All the adjustment here uh, for your uh, windows and your heated mirrors. Uh, one touch up and down for the windows and we have an auto function as well for the headlights and you can adjust the headlight beam 
we have a button there for our catwalk light all your exterior light take off my shoes i just don't want to dirty it up too much and two pedals of course we don't have any clutch pedal it's the 12 speed optic cruise gearbox in this and the v8 logo there on the mat nice red piping there and it goes right across to the passenger side i just had the rubber mats fitted there just to keep it nice and clean and nice wood finish there on the dashboard so uh yeah quite nicely done let me just open up that and remind you again of the pull out table so that's all quite neat isn't it so clip it in there and yeah we have all the electric adjustments there on the passenger side also but these mirrors would you believe are electrically adjusted <laughs> so i never had that on the previous truck so all the mirrors are electrically adjusted and we have all the usual features as well um, automatic headlights uh, emergency brake assist and lane departure warning you'll find them all in this truck but yeah on the previous truck we had just a, a kind of a pole flexible pole that would stick out but uh, on these newer trucks now it's just a lamp there and we have our night heater there as well and we can open and close our sunroof and we have a usb connection there as well and your scania bin all your storage there on the sidewall i do like these uh handles as well look see those grab handles they're very good aren't they one at either side and we have yeah so the inverter you have your three pin socket there and also another three pin socket down here so you see there i just have a coffee maker plugged in there but i might get rid of that because i have this one <laughs> okay so you'll, you'll see this coffee maker also in a volvo I think it's the very same design but great space in these lockers and yeah this one has a shelf in it now you see the sunroof there so we can block it out completely or else we can just pull across the fly shade so uh yeah and we have a 12 volt socket there as well on that locker so this is your vehicle data recorder for recording all the footage on the cameras so yeah the four cameras and we have our tachograph there as well so you would put up this or pull it up to stick in your cable to do a, a download but you can do a remote download here by pressing this button so if you're connected to scania server system you can sign up for it you can do a remote download so you don't have to worry about sticking in cables and taking it from the taco itself so uh yeah and that's just uh for your lights and for your sunroof for opening and closing so the bed you can adjust the bed about four more inches so if i were to push these pedals um, on each seat you get those pedals you just push them slide your seats and then you can extend your bed so it's good to be able to have that bed a little bit bigger there if you wish so let me just push that and slide it back so the dashboard layout pretty well done on the scania so i'm just going to start it up just to give you a sound of the engine uh, be handy if I took the keys out of my pocket first <laughs> there we go stick it in and start it up okay let's knock it back off so yeah I'm just gonna wait for the camera system just to warm itself up there and i'll show you the satellite navigation that is your sat nav card there and we also have a media card that slots in there so just touch that and we have our satellite navigation and you can also connect up a camera to this system if you wish but they are our four different camera angles and that is the rear camera just to see the fifth wheel so if i zoom in there you should be able to see the height of the fifth wheel that's very good and down here all the usual features i've shown you in previous videos we have the auxiliary heater the night heater so it no longer blows from back behind the seats it blows out from the air vents themselves so it's a great system now and uh yeah we have the two usbs auxiliary input there and we have a 24 volt socket and a 12 volt and another usb here and all of your cup holders here and we have a drawer there and we also have 
one down here as well and more storage here big storage space there that's gonna come in very handy and our fridge so yeah all I have in it is a bottle of water but uh, that will be pretty much full up <laughs> soon enough uh, thank goodness it works whereas uh, the last truck it just didn't work for a very very long time so yeah let me just sit in here and go down through more controls so we have our traction control we have a diff lock here and that's for the tag axle if you're pulling a trailer all your light adjustments here and over there we have our lane departure warning we have our emergency braking system and our hill start aid function there and we can adjust the brightness on our instrument cluster so let me just uh, show you around that engine oil we can check that that's okay and come out of that and yeah you can just go down through the whole menu there just to fuel consumption cruise control and your level adjustment so yeah it's a very nice layout here of course there are more modern layouts now so um, but this is still nicely done and yeah going down through our drivers mo modes okay so it's no longer adjusted here like you would have before you would slide that forward to go down through power standard and eco mode but yeah um, it's no longer positioned there it's here so if we press that you'll see there look we are in power mode I press it again we're in eco and then standard mode so I'll be testing all them on the drive and yeah we have the auto function there for your retarder and an auto function for our exhaust brake and a manual function there I really like the OptiCruise gearbox just up and down through your gearbox manually and of course a five stage retarder so that's all nice and your cruise control here as well and our hill descent control as well and yeah voice activation we have that okay guys i think it's time to get hooked underneath the trailer take it out on the road for a test drive and see what it's like in the Scania S580 with its 16 litre diesel engine the V8 of course developing 3,000 newton meters of torque now of course this truck differs to the one that I drove three years ago over three years now since I drove Nolan's demo the S580 in January of 2017 that truck had the EGR valve the exhaust gas recirculation valve this truck doesn't have that plus it also has an extra 50 newton meters of torque so just listen to the sound now when i come off the roundabout it has a far nicer sound than the r560 it's more deep it's it's like as if it has more bass to it but yeah it's a really nice sound what I'll do is I'll do a sound comparison between the R560 the 164L V8 480 and this S580 and you can see for yourself all the different engine configurations and the sounds of the V8 so I'll do that video sometime soon but we're just going to make our way out onto the dual carriageway uh, the Denison trailer we're pulling doesn't have a lot of weight on it probably only five or six ton not much weight at all but we'll have a really good sound of the engine now when we go up that hill just a couple of miles down the road but we have all the usual features that you'll find in the newer generation trucks we have the lane departure warning and 
We also have the hill descent control. I had that on the R560. So that's very handy when you're going downhill. You just dab the brakes when you have the auto retarder button on and just dab the brakes at your desired speed and it will hold that speed down the hill and you don't have to press the brake pedal. So beautiful day today. It's 24 degrees. Absolutely fabulous. So yeah, we've been having a good spell of weather lately. <laughs> so that's nice. Now we're just cruising there at 80 kilometers and you can see we're revving in at just under 950 RPM. So it's revving in very low compared to the R560. And if we were cruising at 89 kilometers, it would be revving in at about 1050 RPM. So yeah, it does rev very low, this S580. Now, of course, we all know it should be called the 580S, but that was all changed back in December of 2019 when Mercedes had an issue with Scania having S in front of the numbers on the badge. So all of the newer 2020 models will be 580S, whereas this one was one of the last ones in production, you could say, before the name change in December last year. So, yeah, I was thinking at some stage of changing the badge around, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is, guys. It will stay S580. It's not changing to 580S. But, I mean, look, guys, the difference between this and the R560, it's night and day. It's so much more quieter. It's everything, wind noise, sound of the engine and just that beautiful sound when you set off and it's not droney you know just cruising away it's not you're not getting this annoying sound but it was very well engineered just setting off so to give that initial first impression to new people to the Scania brand you know that this is quite powerful lovely sound to the V8 but let me just drop it down the retarder we're just going downhill here and I won't use the brakes we we'll just use our retarder and save on our brake pad wear so yeah the retarder I love it it's just <laughs> look it's slowing us right down to this roundabout at the end of this hill five stage retarder and it'll just keep pulling you back Still not using my brake pedal, look. <laughs> Obviously, if we had more weight, I would have been pushed more. So there you go, it just gives you a, a quick demonstration of the retarder. It's a definite must in any truck, guys. Just get the retarder and save yourself a lot of effort with the brake pedal. And I do love the blind spot camera as well when you're turning left with your indicator. Uh, it turns big here on the monitor, so you can see it nice and clear. But the reversing camera on the fifth wheel is just fantastic for reversing under trailers. And yeah, I really like that. So when you're pulling out of the trailer, if you're in any doubt as to your Susie still connected to the trailer, well, you can check the reversing camera. But listen to the sound of the V8. I'm gonna put it into manual mode, eighth gear, Let's go. I just love the sound of this deep low tone to it it really is great and of course we do have the eco roll function as well where it will literally coast down a hill and go into neutral just to save on fuel so yeah as i said uh, we don't have the exhaust gas recirculation valve but we still do have scr which is the selective catalytic reduction system that is still in all the v8 engines now of course we're still waiting for the flagship scania v8 um, definitely that should be coming in 2021 so uh, yeah it's all been held up at the moment but yeah we'll see is it going to be 780 as I predict <laughs> we'll have to wait on that one 
So one thing I noticed on this new truck compared to the R560 Euro 5 is that they did change the hill start aid function. There is a slight delay on it compared to the last truck. So if I were to come to a complete stop here, right, on the R560, bang, the hill start would come on, but there's a slight delay on this one. And that is a very good thing, and I'll tell you why. Most of the time when you're backing onto ramps, some drivers will turn off the hill start, but this way, having the delay, you don't need to turn it off. You just continue backing onto your ramp, and it's not grabbing as you're backing onto the ramp. So I really like that slight little delay on the hill start when you come to a stop. So that's very good. And we can also set the distance of the lane departure warning system to early, normal, or late. It depends what way you want it to operate. Um, <laughs> there's a guy here turning around on the dual carriageway. What was that? But <laughs> I've no idea what that car was doing, guys. He was start trying to turn around on the dual carriageway. What was that? Anyway, we are going to make our way back to base. just a couple of more revs and a hoot of the air horn there you go <laughs> and that was my full tour and test drive in Rory Lynch Transport's brand new Scania S580 guys look it's just on a different league to the R560 but this will be my daily driver I will be taking over this truck into the future really looking forward to driving it and yeah having the front on an air ride suspension is just fantastic so much more comfortable than the R560. Now there are more comfortable trucks out there. I mean, the ones that have four airbags on the back axle, they would be a lot more comfortable than this. But still, <laughs> um, this one is just really good, guys. Uh, what have we got taking off there? We have a plane taking off. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll be back next weekend for another video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. Cheers! The usual guys, oh yeah, we get trucks up here all the time. Yeah, well, you don't get 40 foots up here because they wouldn't have made that bend. That's why I had to shorten the trailer. So, you wouldn't be getting in the entrance very easy with a 40 foot.